Hey Randy, a vigil for Philando Castile just wrapped up about an hour and a half ago here in Falcon Heights at the site where Philando was killed five years ago today. And his mother, Valerie Castile, was joined by several supporters, all of them demanding an end to police brutality. Say his name! Philando Castile! Five years to the day and his name still carries so much weight and meaning for Philando Castile's mother and those demanding justice. We all saw that man! Shoot my son! Uh, reason I put you over, you, your brake lights are out. So that man is former St. Anthony police officer Geronimo Yanez. He shot Castillo during a traffic stop in 2016, and the entire thing streamed on Facebook Live and was later acquitted. Those bullets ricocheted through my baby body and hit every organ. If he had to live, he wouldn't want to live like that. Leaving his mother five years later calling for the case to be reopened and more accountability from lawmakers. And we have to be more conscious about who we're letting in office and who is the president of the union and the federation. We have to know. I am about resolutions. A resolution similar to the one introduced this year by Castile's best friend turned state lawmaker, John Thompson. For firm and support, ongoing efforts to ensure public safety and justice for all Minnesotans. Five years later, a mother's quest for justice continues on. There is no way that this man right here, Philando Castile, should be forgotten. Now, the Minnesota State Fair actually donated the land here behind me at the site where Philando was killed. They donated it for a permanent memorial today. And Valerie says she's going to continue to push for police reform through the Philando Castile Relief Foundation, which she started in an effort to end gun violence. Randy. All right, Devon, thank you.